In the promised land, somewhere along the streams that nourish the Carmel Heights, an intriguing quest is taking place after the exact spot where science meets faith. Divine providence, it's going to be a miracle to find the diamond. A miracle, that's precisely what it seems to be. <laughs> Amen, long live our master, our teacher, our rabbi, the Messiah, king forever, the unusual sanction. For the past decade, the Shefa Yamim Exploration and Mining Company has been rummaging through the land, hoping to confirm a prophecy made some 9,000 kilometers away and two decades ago by a rabbi revered by his followers as the Messiah. The Lubavitcher Rebbe mentioned in passing that gems are divinely buried in the valleys and rivers around the city of Haifa. That is Moses. He has to reveal and uh, to lead us to a much better world. Inspired by faith, Abraham Taub followed the Rebbe's call. He founded Shefa Yamim, the abundance of the seas, a company with a mission to fulfill the Rebbe's revelation. We started the exploration uh, working to uh, locate the uh, treasure that is hidden in the, in the valley. A wondrous thing did indeed occur. You're sitting on a gold mine. No doubt about it. And we found all the associate minerals, which are usually in the world in diamond mines. Or... In the area designated by the Rebbe, Taub and his team of prospectors found kimberlites, the strongest mineral indicator that the promised land of milk and honey might also carry the promise to actually be a land of diamonds and gems. The kibbalite is actually the source rock, the mother. Diamonds are formed in the womb of the earth at a depth of 200 kilometers as a result of extreme magmatic heat and pressure. During volcanic eruptions, kimberlite rocks are expelled to the surface through vertical conduits known as kimberlite pipes. Only 1% of them are diamond bearing. Yet here, alluvial digs unearthed not only hundreds of precious stones, rubies, sapphire, garnet, but also 77 micro diamonds, such as this 0.8 carat pure natural white diamond, as well as the extremely rare moissanite, the closest mineral to diamond in hardness and brightness. There is no price for the moissanite. Nobody found bigger natural moissanite. The new world record moissanite is actually coming from there. In August, that bulk sample revealed a 4.1 millimeter moissanite. Hopefully we are going to find the new, new, new moissanite record, yeah. From prospection to extraction in over 30 locations, from drilling and digging to loading, unloading and sieving, from scrabbling and washing to washing and sieving, drying and sieving again, then washing again. Finding a diamonds like looking for a needle in a haystack. This is the chocolate cake, the heavy mineral cake. So this is the cherry on top of the yeah, cake. Yeah, that will be the best. We are checking every grain. Kimberly process has the world-renowned leader for cutting, so polishing and trading diamonds, Israel became the chair of the Kimberly process in 2010. That's about when Shefa Yamim began to consider trading on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. Last April, Israel's first and only diamond explorer went public. 100 million dollars. That's the level of our, our company. No major diamond mine has been discovered in 15 years. Diamonds are running out. And with booming demand, driven by prosperity in Asia, speculation is rife. Could it be that Israel is on the brink of finding significant deposits of rough diamonds and thus be squaring the full diamond circle? 24 hours or 2,400 hours. We are very close to find diamond. The jewelry market will change in Israel and all over the world. Consultant geochemists believe 
in a 20 to 30 percent probability that in three to five years the company could reach the point of production on a major scale. Yet it will need additional injection of capital if it wants to drill deeper and find bigger diamonds. That's precisely the wish. The faith shake hands with the science. It's going together. Hand in hand. Hand in hand, absolutely. Faith in what a rabbi predicted may have finally met science. Yet, at this stage, what's in need is ever greater faith, if only to confirm what science now predicts. From Accra, Northern Israel, for CNC.